Okay, today's video is all about elbows. Not necessarily what you do with combinations and elbows, but how to throw them. Look, the biggest mistake I see people making in pretty much all striking, not just elbows, is over committing and trying to put too much power on your techniques. And then you end up overbalanced, you end up in a bad position, you can be hit, you can't defend quickly, you can't get out quickly. So we need to learn to take a bit of power off and understand that in combat, a lot of it is where you hit someone, not how hard you hit someone. So there's a really big difference between hitting someone here and hitting someone right here. So what I would advise in anyone in combat and sparring is work on more about accuracy of your strikes rather than how hard you hit. Think about an analogy I use, bear with me on this, I use for a lot of people to train. If you think about golf, me especially, if I play golf, if I hit the ball and get on the green or near the green, I'm pretty happy. But to a pro golfer, getting near the hole is what they need. Getting on the green is not good enough. So that's the difference between an average golfer or a terrible golfer and a professional golfer. That is the same for fighting. A lot of people start sparring and just to hit someone they're happy. They're not necessarily aiming at specific spots. They're just happy to punch someone. They're happy to kick someone. But you see a very good fighter, there's many of them you can name and think of in boxing and MMA, that you see that don't force their technique, but they're very accurate where they hit the leg, where they hit the ribs, where they hit the face, very accurate. And they knock out a lot of people, but it doesn't seem like they're trying very hard. That comes down to accuracy, okay? So that's what I'd firstly get you to focus on. Where you hit someone, not how hard you hit someone. Back to the elbows. Specifically with the elbows, they are very, very powerful. You do not need to overcommit. So anyone teaching you elbows, teaching you well, should be showing you that it's really just from where you're loaded up from here, well, there's no wind up. You do not need to go backwards before you go forwards. That'd be like being in a running race, the gun goes off and you go back 10 meters and then go forward. You're gonna telegraph and you're gonna lose the race. With your elbows, we just straight from the head, wherever your hands are, bang, from there. If you're doing here, boom, big rising elbow, crossing elbow, elbow over the top, whichever elbow you're doing. So if I'm doing it from the side, I'm from here, I just go from this position, step and turn i don't go backwards first there's no need for it they're a very very solid technique a lot of people underestimate it because they haven't used an elbow on someone which is a good thing but in competition you'll see any muay thai fight or mma fight when an elbow connects well it either cuts someone or knocks someone out it does damage they are brutal especially if you know how to slash with your elbows there's ways to throw them you can crush like you can mash in or you can slice past. Some people are very good at slicing with their elbows and they'll cut you open and they'll end the fight. You'll see many Muay Thai fighter do that. Bump and you'll see them point at someone's head and go, fight's over, the cut's so bad. So this video really is essentially about not over committing to your elbows, not necessarily how to throw them, technically in combinations, but remember, don't over commit. Just learn a good drill I get people to practice and other trainers do, is pretty much hold your gloves to your temples or your thumbs if you're not got gloves and just practice from here, literally, boom, straight around, bang, straight around, boom, up, bang, over the top. No over committing. Get out of the habit going backwards before going forwards. Just straight through. Okay, so practice these guys, understand they're brutal, and we don't want to end up in that over committed position. You end up throwing an elbow and loading up, someone slips back, you end up here. What happens now? MMA, you're going to be taken down, Muay Thai, you're going to be kicked. We want to learn that. If we miss, we end up in a good position. So a good drill to practice on the pads with a trainer, not with punching because you'll hyperextend. With an elbow, you can do this. If the pad's here and they get you to do a crossing elbow, as you come forward, they take the pad away. And what should happen is, boom, nothing. If they take the pad away and you go like this, you are over committing to your elbow. So you wanna learn that if you miss, boom, you end up in a good position. Bang in a good position. Bang in a good position, not through here. Okay, food for thought guys, have a go at this. Let's tidy his elbows up and stop overcommitting. Cheers.